Hello. Recently there was a sad tragedy in this area. There was a kid playing at a local park and he and some others decided to go swimming in a duck pond in the park. Well, somehow he went under and apparently got stuck in the muck at the bottom of the pond. Um, the EMTs or fire department or somebody uh, responded and took him a while to find him. They dragged him out. He was sent to the hospital, but he never regained consciousness. And about two weeks later, maybe a little under, he died. And he actually died of cholera, not from drowning. My daughter and I go to this pond fairly often and hang around. Looking at the water, smelling the water and everything else, and knowing that ducks are swimming in it, I tell her not to touch the water. Uh, I've had ducks, I know what ducks do the second they get in water, and that's, they go to the bathroom in it. It's just natural. This little pond, you know, it, it's, there's a lot of trash around the sides of it and everything too, but basically anybody with any sense whatsoever looking at this water is going to know that you should not touch it or get in it. Now the story originally was on this kid that his mother and some others were there and she was quoted as saying that oh she lets her kid swim in it all the time and you know her thing was there are no signs around the pond saying no swimming. I feel bad for her because her kid died and whether she was there or not I don't believe it's her fault but I do believe it's her responsibility and now she is suing the city because there were not signs around the pond saying no swimming. To me that's as dumb as saying that your kid, if they wander around, play out in the middle of the highway and get hit by a car, that there should have been a sign saying, don't play in the highway. You know, and I'm sorry, but it's just, it's stupid to do that and to know that if she wins, which, you know, she may, that it's the people whose money is stolen in the name of taxation who are actually going to end up paying her for something that was her responsibility. She should have taught her kid not to play in sewage, basically. And if she didn't, that's her responsibility. I don't know if she was actually there or not. Like I say, the story changed. If she was there and saw her kid playing in that pond, she should have told him to get out. Uh, you know, I, again, I, I'm not saying it's her fault. What I am saying is her responsibility. She's trying to shift her responsibility onto somebody else so that she feels better. And that's not right. You know, it, her kid is dead and nothing's going to bring him back. I understand the desire to sue somebody, but again, she's trying to, to deny her responsibility and blame someone else. And that's not right. It doesn't make her necessarily a bad person that her kid died. It does make her a bad person to try to shift the responsibility onto someone else and make everybody else pay for something that was her responsibility. And there's a lot of 
of arguments and fights and name calling over this situation, but that's how I see it. Thanks.